Okay, here we're going to look at another example of using normal distributions and z-scores to calculate some uh, percentages. And this is going to be uh, similar to example uh, 2 that we did a second ago, so this is now going to be example 3. So we saw in example 2 we talked about cholesterol levels and how if you look at uh, people in the same age and sex, uh, that that's going to be roughly normally distributed. So for 14-year-old boys, it turns out that the mean is uh, mu equals 170 milligrams of cholesterol per deciliter of blood, and the standard deviation is sigma equals 30 milligrams per deciliter. And what we want to find out is what percent of boys have cholesterol between 170 and 240 milligrams per deciliter. So again, we're going to use that z-score, so x, uh, z equals x minus mu divided by sigma. So just like before, if we let x be the amount of cholesterol in the blood, we want to find what percentage of boys satisfy where x is between 170 and 240. So the same thing as in the other examples, we're simply just going to subtract the mean and divide by sigma. So again, we said the mean, um, we said the mean was 170 and we said that the standard deviation was 30. So from every one of these values, I'm going to subtract 170 and divide by 30. So we'll take also 240 minus 170 and divide by 30. So the first part's easy enough. We'll just get 170 minus 170. Well, that's 0 divided by 30. is still 0. And now we've... Uh, um, uh, got our z-score here in the middle. And well, let's see, 240 minus 170, that's going to give us 70. 70 divided by 30 is roughly 2.33. So if we go back and think about it in terms of the area underneath the, the curve, the normal curve, the standard normal curve, so here's the z-score of 0. That's going to correspond to the y-axis. And here's the z-score of 2.33. The area we're interested in is going to be this shaded area right here. And again, that's going to give us the probability. Now, we have to be a little careful here when we read things off of the table because, again, the stuff from the table tells us um, everything to the left, the area underneath the curve, to the left of a particular z-score. So all I'm going to do is just, just subtract here, just make use of some su subtraction. So if we find 2.33, so 2.33, um, that's 0 0.9901. So again, to illustrate what I'm going to do in terms of thinking about it in terms of subtraction and areas. So 2.33, it says the area to the left of, of that z-score, the area underneath the curve, it says that that total area we said was 0 0.9901. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to subtract off the area to the left of the z-score of 0. So if we subtract off this area, okay, so if we take the whole area, subtract off the left area, that's going to leave us with just this little bit that we're interested in. So that's the idea that we're doing here. Well, we know since this is a standard normal distribution, again, you could look it up in the table, but um, it cuts everything right in half. So this area is going to be 0.5. So all we have to do is we'll take 0 0.9901. We'll subtract away 0 0.5. That's going to give us 0.4901. And that's equal to 49.01%, or roughly equal to 49%. So it says, according to that data, roughly 49% of those boys age 14 are going to have cholesterol levels somewhere between 170 and 240.